Hello and welcome to Polyglot Principles. My name is Moja and I'm a hyperpolyglot who speaks eight languages. I speak four of those at an advanced level and this is the channel where I help ambitious language learners go from intermediate to advanced in their target language by giving them a very deep and detailed understanding of the principles of language learning. So this video is part of um, every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I publish a mindset video where I teach you how to think in order to succeed in language learning and then on Mondays at, uh, at 8 a.m. Central African Time I publish another video. Oh, my environment is noisy. Yeah, okay. So every Monday at 8 a.m. Central African Time I publish another video and in this video I teach you the actual principles of how to learn a language. So today is going to be a short video because uh, hmm, I do have a lesson with my coach in a few minutes. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can make it uh, maybe maximum of ten minutes. Okay. So today we're going to we're talking about setting realistic goals in language learning. So the first question is: Should your goals in language learning be realistic? So I think you've, had the, you've heard of this acronym before, you must have SMART goals. It means your goals must be specific, measurable, I agree with specific, I agree with measurable, achievable, I don't agree. Uh, um, if you watched the, most, the, the last video I made in this series of mindset videos, it's a, it's a playlist, you could check it on a playlist. The most recent one I, may, I made, the one just before this one, Jeez, the kids are screaming in the background. All right. So, so usually you ask, should you be uh, realistic in language learning? I don't think so, actually. In terms of having realistic goals, no way. Uh, this is really, this is another kind of mindset you need to shift. This is how average people think. So, the textbook I use for building the correct mindset, which, we're gonna, which we keep using in this series, is uh, Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. And he studied people and realized that 98% of people were failures, and only 2% really succeeded in terms of making money. And I think this number is also going to be correct for people who learn languages. Only 2% end up learning languages, or less I'd be. People who start out as adults trying to learn a foreign language, I'd say a small percentage actually do succeed uh, and achieve their goals. But you see, if you're going to do extraordinary stuff, if you're going to have extraordinary results in language learning, you're not going to think like the masses. You have to think different. The, the masses always look at whether they can do something. Is it possible for me to do it before they do it? So for example, if someone is trying to figure out uh, whether they can go to college, they start looking at the environment. Hey, is there anyone in my family who's ever gone to college? Let's look at my grades through high school. Did I ever have good grades? And uh, maybe take an IQ test. Am I intelligent enough? And so on. So people, they think they're being realistic. Basically, uh, this is actually kind of, it's a bit of a disgrace to the human mind. Because everything that human beings ever created came from the imagination. So if you want to look for what is possible, what you can accomplish in language learning, you don't look at your past, you don't look at your history, you don't look at the history of humanity. You look in the imagination. Let, let's think about it. Where did this iPhone come from? Somebody's imagination. Where did your shirt come from? Somebody's imagination. It didn't come from the past. <clears throat> it didn't come from the environment. It came from the imagination. You first imagine something, then you create it. If you want to know if something is possible, look in your imagination. Don't look at your friends and what they're saying. So, maybe your goal is to, within five years, you want to speak ten languages fluently. Let's say that's your goal. If you tell people around you, they'll tell you it's an unrealistic goal. And you may think it's unrealistic. Perhaps you've never learned any language as an adult to fluency. And now you're saying, hey, I want to be fluent in 10 languages within five years or starting from January uh, 1st of 2021 to December 1st of 2021 
I want to, within that one year, I want to be able to speak, uh, let's say, six or seven languages at a, at a level, like start a new language in January 1st, 2021, up to January, up to, this, up to the last day of December, an entire year, and within that span, let's say, learn seven or eight languages to, let's say, an intermediate level or something like, to where you can have conversations, discuss, make jokes, and so on. So you could set yourself these kinds of goals. And uh, if you follow this idea that your goals have to be realistic, you'll start to check your own history. Have I ever learned a language before as an adult? Uh, what makes me think I can do this? Uh, this is not possible. I don't know anyone who's done that. If you ask your parents, they'll tell you, no, no, be realistic. Your friends will tell you, come on, dude. You've never learned a single language successfully. What tells you, who tells you you can learn seven and eight? So this is really the, the, the mindset of a loser. You see, a loser doesn't look to his imagination to find out what's possible. What a loser does is they look at uh, what's been done before, what their relatives are saying, the opinions of their friends, and they use that to determine what's po what, their te what your teacher said about you, and you use that to determine what is possible. And this is one of the things you need to... Uh, you can't think that way if you're going to win. That's, that's the thought process of a loser. Forget about whether your goals are realistic or not. Just, do you want them? This is the question. Don't ask whether you can do it. Just ask, do you want them? This is really powerful stuff. Uh, instead of asking whether, can I become fluent, uh, let's say in Chinese, within, let's say, one year, let's say that's your goal. Instead of asking, can I do it? Ask, do I want to do it? Because... If you want to do it and you follow a system of thinking uh, and you apply the principles of language learning, you'll do it. The question of whether you can learn a language or not is a foolish question. Of course you can. And this is going to apply to everything you do, by the way, in your life, not just language learning. You may have big dreams in your heart, something amazing you want to do. And uh, maybe you've been crippled for years because you've been wondering whether you have the potential, whether you can do it, are you intelligent enough, and so on. Uh, this stuff has probably crippled you for years. Get rid of that nonsense. Forget asking whether you want it. Just ask yourself. No, forget asking yourself whether you can do it, whether it's possible. Those are useless nonsense questions. Just ask, do I want to do it? And then go ahead and do it. There are systems to follow if you want to achieve any goal. Okay, so this is what I wanted to give you, please. Uh, so I'd say your goal, actually, your goals should be unrealistic. This is the criterion I use. All, 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 the, all the things I want to achieve in life are unrealistic. In fact, if, something, if, I, if I set a goal and I know exactly how to achieve it, uh, I know that I'm, uh, that I'm not dreaming well. That's, something's wrong. A goal has to look impossible. You don't know how to do it. Right. So the goal itself should be unrealistic. Realistic things that you know how to do are not inspiring. Like, to make life inspiring, you need to go after something mega big, something absolutely unimaginable. And the goal itself, as you're saying, has to be unrealistic. But there are certain milestones along the way. You need a plan, obviously, to achieve whatever the goal is. If you're going to become super fluent, super quick, if you have a big language goal, maybe become fluent in... Chinese within one year, something like that. Let's say that's your, let's say, let's say that's your goal, and for you it's really unrealistic because you don't know how to do it. That's fine. You could set the goal in detail, and then the plan is what has to be realistic. Have a realistic plan, but not realistic goal. So that's, I think, what I would like to tell you. Have an unrealistic goal, and then have a very realistic plan to achieve what is unrealistic. Okay, so guys, I have to head off. I have a training session. I have to meet my chess coach uh, for some for some training, so I'm going to have to cut off this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and uh, hit the like button and hit the be the subscribe button. Ding, ding, ding. That way you'll be notified whenever I publish a new video. I publish these uh, videos, mindset videos, every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then on Monday at 8 a.m. Central African Time, I publish an in-depth video where I teach you the principles of language learning. Thank you very much for watching this and I hope to catch you on the next video. Bye.